Hi guys, my name is Leanne and if you're on this YouTube channel, you probably are here because of my YouTube shorts, which I post a lot of short form videos about crocheting or DIY, mostly crocheting, which is probably why you guys are interested in this video. As you can tell from the title, it's everything you need to know to start crocheting in 2023. So basically I'm gonna go through everything a beginner would need to start some nice to haves that aren't necessary but like you know if you're really trying to invest or get into it and then also some like some of my favorite brands yarn brands and also a good hack for saving some money if you are not sure if you want to invest in crocheting but you want to test it out um so anyways let's get started i do have some notes on my laptop to refer to just in case i forget and so that i don't ramble but anyways obviously the first essential to start crocheting is crochet hooks if you were to start I would probably go with a size five millimeter crochet hook and if you only want to buy one, but honestly, you can probably buy a pack of at least seven different sizes on Amazon for the same price as one crochet hook. However, if you're looking for some comfortable ones, I really love the Clover. I think they're called Amour crochet hooks. Let me show you what it looks like. It's got this really comfortable grip and it's got a plastic tip. I like using these when I want to crochet looser because I tend to crochet really tight. And so if I'm looking for something loose, for some reason, I don't know why, these crochet hooks are, they work for that and they're really comfortable. Um, these ones are a little bit more expensive. I wonder how much they are actually. I feel like maybe it could be like maybe six to eight bucks for one. I could be wrong, but I will link everything prices wise. But you could buy a pack of like metal ones on Amazon for probably around the same price that are just like basic metal ones. I have like used this so much that the paint is like wearing off. I also like the, oh, you know what? I need to bring it, hold on. I literally have a little pouch of all my uh, crochet hooks and goodies if I wanna crochet on the go. I actually made this myself. I sewed it myself with some fabric that Joanne sent me for Ramadan, which was so freaking cool. But anyways, what I really like is the Susan Bates Twist and Hook set. So on one side, you literally take this off if you're crocheting on the go. You can take the hook off and it's interchangeable and you could just switch the sizes of this. And then also on the other side, you can put, I mean, I guess you can put another size hook on there, but it's this little thing. I don't know if they have a name, but it's a cutter, like a yarn cutter, a yarn splitter. I don't know how to twist it in, but basically you wrap your yarn around this so you don't have to carry scissors with you, which life hack, if you're traveling internationally, or I'm pretty sure domestically, sometimes they take your scissors away on planes, but they're weird about it. They're not consistent. Like I've literally this summer traveled with mini scissors in this bag for crocheting in and out of five or six airports and of course the last one leaving that country um they threw my scissors away and they have my favorite pair of scissors so unfortunately that was a bummer but this little thing is so cool because you don't need to bring scissors and the blade is so small like like there's no way that they would take it away from you that's really cool not necessary but if you're someone who's gonna get obsessed or if you're someone who hyper fixates on homies that might be a cool thing to have uh, again there's no requirements on the type of crochet hook if you're looking for comfortability i do like the clover ones if you're looking for versatility or like for traveling on the go susan bates if you're looking for the cheapest i would go with the metal ones off of amazon which i will link for you guys or i'll talk about thrifting later though but okay so crochet hooks obviously you need yarn is another thing that you need to crochet there are so many different types of yarn cotton yarn acrylic yarn mohair yarn silk whatever my favorite to work with would probably be acrylic just because it's easily accessible and it works so fast mohair i love the look of it's so hard to work with i would not recommend it for a beginner it's so thin and it's so hard to frog or undo if you mess up and like can get knotted really easily so i would not recommend it for a beginner cotton yarn is like beginner friendly the reason i don't like cotton yarn is i feel like you can't make the same pattern and have the same effect or texture if that makes sense like like if you make a hat for example a bucket hat with acrylic yarn it might have a more structured fit whereas cotton is more like floppy so cotton would be really good for clothing because especially if you're washing it more often for it to stay the same size um, so i don't work with cotton that often for tote bags that would be good too but i don't work with cotton that often Acrylic is probably my most used type of yarn. My most three favorite brands for yarn is Hobby or Hobie. I still don't know how to pronounce their names. They're based in Denmark. Their yarn is phenomenal. I've tried so many different like types of yarn from them. 100% recommend. I think their shipping takes one and a half to two weeks. Don't quote me on that. However, I will put the link for that down below. Absolutely love it. I've worked with them on like different campaigns that they've invited me to. For one, I made my first ever pattern that I designed for my baby nephew. It was a baby goose. Let's put it up here. 
my most favorite thing I've ever made. The first time I tried mohair was, the only mo mohair I've ever tried was from them. And like their Amigo Giga yarn, it's super chunky, works up super fast. Love it. Honestly, no complaints. Second, I love Joanne's Big Twist yarn. It's acrylic and it's super soft. However, I'm not sure if they changed their formula because I remember purchasing a color and then running out of it so I need to get more to finish a project and the colors are always going to be off if you don't buy them at the same time however I felt like the texture was off too but I do really love Big Twist they're like it's a good classic I don't like Red Heart Super Saver for um, like clothing or accessories I like it for like toys just because it's a little rougher and I like soft yarn so another brand that's really soft is Premier their yarn is so soft I found them in Dollar Tree. They do it, obviously it's smaller amounts, but if you're someone who doesn't want to invest in like a lot of yarn or you're one of doing a small project or you just want to buy small quantities, go to Dollar Tree and buy Premier Yarn, softest yarn ever. They did run out of my favorite sage color though. I don't even remember what the name of it is and I literally have a small ball left that I don't use because I don't want to run out of it. So it just sits in my drawer. But anyway, so Premier Yarn is really good too. Obviously you have crochet hook and you have yarn and you think that's all you need, something like scissors, is obvious you need to cut the yarn a darning needle to sew in your ends darning needle is basically just like a dull needle i like to use like sewing needles because they're sharper and i feel like i can weave in the ends better and make it more tight or secure however i feel like you can also do it with a darning needle i just like to be extra and if you haven't seen my corn video on youtube shorts when i stabbed myself and my finger was bleeding it's because i use sewing needles and you're supposed to use darning needles so anyways darning needles are great i love clovers because they're kind of bent and so you can kind of get them in between the different stitches and then stitch markers i literally carry in a medicine bottle i probably have like at least 30 but i also have them like everywhere like i have projects that i haven't touched in months that have some i have some in a yarn bowl again clover stitch markers love them i have gotten them you can buy a lot on amazon however i think the ones on amazon were the ones that break easily i mean for me if i have a bunch i don't really care i'll just like it breaks i'll just use another one but the ones from clover do not break at all like i've like pulled on them and like really use them they don't break. what i will say is if you are someone who is not trying to spend a lot of money on crocheting safety pins earrings a piece of yarn can work as a stitch marker you really don't have to spend that much money if you are just like really into it you want to just have extra supplies or nice to have stitch markers are the way to go they're very helpful i use them all the time almost every day actually okay next thing is a measuring tape i have seen some that are like retractable and like cool for like body measurement or like tailoring i don't have it I literally just use a basic body measure that I got years ago when I bought scale off of Amazon. It came with a body measure. So anything will do. Honestly, a piece of string might do. Maybe if you like measure yourself with a string and then use that string. Like it doesn't have to be complicated, basically. Tape measure, you can get it anywhere. Super cheap. I can link some below. You can buy it in person. A lot of the things you can buy with coupons. Like I would not buy any of these full price. Which leads me to my next point of yarn. Never buy, never, ever, ever, ever buy it full price. Like there's literally no reason to. If you're trying to buy in stores, want like a lot of quantity, you can go to Joanne and they always have sales going on. If you go, I want to say it was their end of the year. Yeah, it was like right before New Year's. So I think it was like their end of the year sale, New Year's sale or something. I'm pretty sure I spent less than $50 and left with over 20 skeins of their Big Twist yarn. Like it was crazy. And I, I don't know if they stack coupons, but for some reason, like I also have their app, always get their app, scan some stuff. They used to do mission then if you like spend a certain amount they like give you money back i'm like always there and i i never buy anything full price like i always always use a coupon they have coupons all the time they have them on their website if you don't have the app and i'm sure if you like ask the person at the register they like also scan you a coupon so like never buy anything full price however if you want to buy yarn in person like the best bang for your buck go thrifting i literally i went today just to prove a point i went to goodwill and what they do is they just like have a clear bag and they just throw random bundles of unused yarn in a bag and then and they set a price and at goodwill if you don't know like they have certain colors like color tags and each day of the week that color is 50 percent off the color that i chose was not 50 percent off but the, let me just show you i bought this bag of yarn all brand new untouched yarn for 4.99 if it was 15 percent off obviously it'd be two dollars and fifty cents for this and i literally just looked up this is Bernat baby blanket and there's one two three four five skins in here regular price not on sale is 11.99 each did i say four or five i can't do math so i will be using a calculator um, so let's see 11.99 times five that's 60 59.95 but that's like 60 bucks for just those four or five skins on joann's i'm looking at their website right now they're on sale for 8.99 instead of 11.99 but like if you went thrifting you get that and then you also get one two i think 
there is one, the blue one is definitely used because there's no tag, um, but there's two Super Saver Red Heart yarn that isn't used. And I think five bucks is the average price for that. And then there's two big twists. So like you would have, let's just say this thing was 50 bucks on sale in stores. You could literally get this for five bucks thrifting. And if you go on the day where it's 50% off, two bucks, 250. Also, I bought a 32 ounce bag of polyfill for my stuffed animals. Normally in Joann's, I think the original price is $18.99. I never pay that price. I always pay around like $11.99, $8.99, like eight to 11 bucks depending on the sale or whatever coupons I have that day. But this was $2.50, I think. Where is it? No, it was $2.99, I think. Um, excuse me, 32 ounce for $2.99 a steal and it's unopened it's brand new you can't go wrong with that thrifting you can also buy crochet hooks if you literally just want one i'm sure you can find one or like some bundled together on sale and if you get the 50 percent off that's like super cheap i've definitely purchased knitting needles let me show you guys i haven't taught myself how to knit yet they wrapped a set and one was 2.99 i really don't know prices of knitting needles so i can't really vouch for whether or not that's a good deal or not but i have like all of these this is $3.99, but it came like rubber band with multiple. So like, honestly, I think that's a really good deal. Especially if you like, don't know if you want to commit, 100% recommend thrifting. Even not for like crochet supplies. I love thrifting so much. Moral of the story is don't ever buy yarn. There's no need to. You can literally find it either thrifting or with coupons. Have I missed anything? Oh, nice to haves, ball winder or yarn winder. I didn't think it was necessary, but honestly, it's game changer. If you ever have tangled yarn, nothing is more frustrating than spending more time untangling yarn than working on an actual project nothing like i have spent more hours untangling yarn than i have on the project itself this literally will make basically cakes of yarn let me show you one this is a really big one instead of tangled yarn or used yarn and it just like from the center you pull it out and you use yarn never gets tangled never ever this i believe was like 30 34 bucks 100 worth it i wish i bought this sooner obviously if you're just starting not necessary to do this but if you like have a yarn collection and you're just like trying to it's good for saving space organizing by the way highly highly recommend this if you're like really into it another thing is this little like hamster ball that you put your yarn in and you can crochet on the go what i used to do was just crochet and either hold my yarn under under my arm or like in a tote bag or backpack and just like crochet in public but i like the hamster ball idea because it's just like you can cross body or just like on one shoulder and it's just like one because like do i really need a tote bag with like five different clothes that i never actually finished no it's just like more realistic less weight and it also has a little stand so like the other day i went to a coffee shop and i just like put it on the table and then you know i was just sitting there so those are very nice to have another nice to have which i currently don't use for its purpose is a yarn bowl and you put the yarn in here and then i think you just like leave the string here and that way the yarn doesn't like run away however if you do the yarn cake um like the winder you wouldn't need this let me tell you what i have i have stitch marker a, um, a hair tie a thrifted spoon i hyper fixate on a lot of hobbies and i have a new hobby like every other day i don't know it looked like fancy I was like i have to buy it did i make a ring out of it no have i done anything with it no has it been a year since i thrifted it yes and it's just sitting here but i don't know i just keep it in this bowl i have coins candy pins embroidery floss it's just like an, a catch-all tray basically but if I, you were debating on on whether to do that or the ball winder definitely get the ball winder 100 another thing nice to have if you're trying to make stuffed animals are safety eyes i got this off from amazon like i want to say almost a year ago i have been using the same one so it's like a lot of the ones that i don't use are full and the ones that i use currently or like regularly are gone but i love them they come with obviously the backings of it it's the eyes for the toys obviously if you use them for babies you want to secure them very well or at least if you sell them put a disclaimer that a baby should not be supervised with you know a toy with safety eyes like it's a choking hazard pom-pom makers for beanies or just if you want to make pom-poms again do you need them to crochet no because it's a pom-pom you can just attach it to your projects this one is clover love it i have a small one and a big one super easy to make i used to diy a pom-pom maker with like construction paper and it works but this is like game changer it's so fast it's so easy and you don't have to keep making the maker it's literally just like there so 100% recommend and again i'm only recommending things that i've tried before so like i've only used a clover pom-pom maker so i can't tell you about other ones i can maybe find more on amazon and you know what this is probably what you guys are wanting again this is not necessary to start crocheting however it is very nice to have and it is crochet books with pattern most of the ones that you guys have been loving on youtube shorts is coming from this book which is crochet cafe and it's just a bunch of patterns of food and it's paid so all of you guys that were asking for tutorials on them i can't 
do that because it's like a copyright issue. And then this one is like crochet critters, super cute animals. However, if I find free patterns, I can make similar items with the free patterns I find online so that you can follow and reference that. So that's what I can do, but I cannot do the patterns off of these, books. but I will link these books for you guys if you want to purchase them. Okay, I also have this cart to store yarn. I've always struggled with figuring out how to store my yarn. Originally, I had like cubes and I stored them in there. I don't know, I just like didn't like the look of yarn taking up so much space. I had yarn here and in boxes and I just like have a lot of yarn and I tell myself that I'm not gonna buy yarn and then I got a custom order with a color that I didn't have. So obviously I had to buy yarn. But anyways, I'm like, I do like the cart though. I got it from Michaels and I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like 60 bucks. I think it's worth it. If this is uh, still on the nice to have thing, we're done with the essentials. It's nice to have if you have a collection, a growing collection of yarn. I think I have mentioned everything. So I'll link everything below for you guys to take a look at if you're interested. Full transparency that some might be um, affiliate links. So I think I just like might mark them with an asterisk so that you guys know. Basically that just means that I get rewarded for referring you guys with that link and it's no cost to you but it does support me and my future content so I would appreciate it if you guys use those links but obviously not necessary but I will mark them so that you guys know which ones are and which ones aren't. I'm definitely gonna have everything here written essentials whatever and linked so that this makes more sense because I feel like I'm just blabbing but anyways happy new year's. I hope you guys uh enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I do want to make more crocheting videos like like informational like stitches like basic stitches for beginners. It might be more left-handed though. I'm left-handed by the way so I crochet left-handed and I know there's a lot of right-handed content on YouTube but those that are asking content for me I will be making content tutorials and you know crochet business because I know that you guys were interested when I hit 3,000 subscribers. Also thank you guys for almost I think 8,500 sub subscribers. Amazing. I literally don't know how that happened but I'm very grateful and I'm very excited and really hoping to post more long form video content this year. But anyway, I'm going to be working on hopefully once a week, fingers crossed. Hopefully they're informational and helpful and if you have any video requests, let me know in the comments and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!